learning English through stories, cultural exchange, greetings and expressions. Hi there, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Hi Alex, I'm Maria. It's great to meet you too. So Maria, where are you from? I'm from Spain. How about you? I'm from the United States. That's cool. So, do you have any favorite greetings in Spanish? Oh, definitely. In Spanish, we often say hola for a casual greeting. And for more formal situations, we use buenos dias in the morning, buenas tardes in the afternoon, and buenas noches at night. How about in English? Well, we have a variety of greetings, too. Hello is the most common one. But we also use hi in informal settings and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for different times of the day. It's similar to Spanish in that sense. Yes, it seems like there are some similarities. How about the responses to greetings? In Spanish, we might reply with, Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hello, how are you? Or, buenos días, ¿cómo has amanecido? Good morning, how did you wake up? In English, it's pretty straightforward. We might respond with, hi, I'm good, thanks, or hello, how are you, as well. It's common to ask about someone's well-being after a greeting. That's nice. It's always good to show interest in each other. By the way, do you know any other informal greetings in English? Sure, there are plenty. Besides hello and hi, we often use hey with friends or in casual settings. It's a bit more relaxed. Got it. And how about saying goodbye? In Spanish, we say adios for a formal farewell and hasta luego, see you later, for something more casual. In English, we use goodbye or bye for a formal farewell. But for something more casual, we might say see you later or take care. Take care sounds nice. It's like wishing someone well. Exactly. It shows you care about the other person's well-being. Is there anything else you want to know about greetings? Well, one more thing. How do you introduce yourself formally in English? Ah, that's a good one. In formal situations, we often say, Nice to meet you, my name is Alex. And it's polite to extend a handshake as well. Great. Thanks for sharing, Alex. This conversation has been very helpful. No problem, Maria. I'm always here to help with English. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Before you go, Maria, do you have any favorite English expressions or slang that you've come across? Oh, that's a good question, Alex. Well, I've heard people use cool a lot. It seems to mean something is good or interesting. Are there any other expressions like that? Absolutely. Cool is a popular one. We also say things like awesome or amazing to express enthusiasm. And if something is really impressive, we might even say it's mind-blowing. Uh, interesting. I'll make sure to remember those. By the way, Alex, how do you usually respond when someone compliments you in English? Good question. If someone says you did a great job, you could respond with a simple thank you or thanks a lot. It's always nice to acknowledge the compliment. Thanks for the tip, Alex. I'll keep that in mind. And speaking of keeping things in mind, do you have any advice for remembering new English words and phrases? Definitely. One effective way is to use the new words in sentences or try to incorporate them into your daily conversations. It helps reinforce your memory. Also, reading English books or watching movies can expose you to various expressions in different contexts. That sounds like a good strategy. I'll try that. And, Alex, do people in the United States have any specific cultural customs or gestures during greetings that I should be aware of? That's a great question. In the U.S., a firm handshake is a common way to greet someone in a formal or business setting. However, among friends, a hug or a casual wave is also common. Eye contact is generally considered positive and shows that you are engaged in the conversation. Thank you, Alex. I'll keep those cultural nuances in mind. I really appreciate your help. No problem, Maria. I'm glad I could assist you. If you ever need more tips or have questions about English, feel free to reach out. Hey, Maria. Before you go, do you have any favorite English movies or TV shows? Oh, definitely. I love watching Friends. It's hilarious, and I'm picking up some colloquial expressions from it. How about you? Friends is a classic. Personally, I enjoy watching Marvel movies. The superhero action and witty dialogues always keep me entertained. By the way, have you noticed any cultural differences in the way people greet each other in movies compared to real life? That's an interesting point, Alex. 
In movies, they sometimes exaggerate greetings for a dramatic effect, right? Like in romantic comedies, characters often have these elaborate meet-cutes. Absolutely. Real life is usually more straightforward, but movies can be a fun way to pick up on different social interactions. Anyway, do you have any favorite English words that you find interesting or fun to say? Hmm. I recently learned the word serendipity. It sounds so poetic, and I love its meaning. Finding something good without actually looking for it. How about you? Serendipity is a beautiful word. I like the word effervescent. It means bubbly or lively, and it just rolls off the tongue. It's a great way to describe someone with a vibrant personality. A nice choice, Alex. I'll add that to my list of words to remember. By the way, have you ever been to an English-speaking country to practice the language? Yes, I had the chance to visit the UK a couple of years ago. It was an amazing experience. Immersing yourself in the language and culture really accelerates your learning. Have you had any similar experiences? Not yet, but I'm planning to visit the U.S. next year. I'm excited to practice my English in real-life situations. That sounds fantastic, Maria. You'll have a blast. If you need any travel tips or recommendations, feel free to ask. And don't forget to try some local slang when you're there. Thanks, Alex. I'll keep that in mind. It was great chatting with you. See you around. Likewise, Maria. Safe travels and see you soon.